Hello, I'm Emma Hammett from First Aid for Pets. Today I'm going to talk to you about strokes and five signs that your dog could be having a stroke and what to do and how to help them. So stroke, strokes in dogs are relatively rare and can be difficult to spot. A stroke occurs where there's a, when there is a disruption to the blood flow in the brain and if you suspect your pet is having a stroke, it's really important that you get them to the vet quickly. There's two types of stroke, same as with humans. So your stroke can result from a clot or a bleed. Um, and ischemic dog strokes are ones that result from a clot or from a plaque. So that's a blockage. And a hemorrhagic dog, dog stroke is one that results from a bleed and they bleed in the brain. And there are five main symptoms that can help you to spot a stroke if you're um, in your dog. So number one, if your dog starts walking strangely, because strokes affect the brain, they can affect your dog's ability to remain upright. So if your dog has a sudden loss of balance, it's unable to stand, it lean, they lean to one side or lean against you, then get advice from your vet quickly. It can also um, cause your dog to lose control of their body systems. So they could start vomiting or dry retching continually. So that's when they are retching but not bringing up anything. They could be gasping, they could have diarrhea, loss of bladder control. Um, they can develop heart arrhythmias as well, which are harder to spot and have difficulty breathing. So some of those symptoms were similar to a, a tummy upset, um, but if it is way out of character and um, you are seriously worried, get them checked by your vet quickly. Number three is extreme tiredness. So that can be a symptom of stroke in your dog. So if they're suddenly a bit listless, um, they're falling asleep quickly, uh, and they may lose consciousness, then get, your, get them to the vet fast. Um, so sometimes um, a stroke can send um, strange um, signals to, um, to your pet. So if they seem to be unsure, you're unsure as to whether they are understanding you properly, um, or they're sort of unsure as to where they're going, they're moving in strange directions, they may be moving in circles, appearing though they're a bit drunk, um, again, there is something seriously wrong, get them checked out and they could be having a stroke. And the fifth sign is look at their eyes because a stroke can affect how your pet controls their eyes. So if there's abnormal eye movements going on, um, they're rotating or darting from side to side or their pupils are unequal um, and they seem to be focusing in different spots, um, contact your vet quickly. Really important, as with humans, to get them to the vet as soon as possible. There are less treatment options um, for your dog than there are for humans. But if you get them checked out quickly, it can make a big difference. So possible underlying medical conditions that can lead to your pet suffering a stroke are things like undetected blood clots, clotting disorders, um, ruptured blood vessels or aneurysms, uh, a tumour, Cushing's disease, which is hyperadrenocorticism, is a condition where the body overproduces the steroid hormone cortisol. It's relatively common in middle-aged and older dogs, and it's usually caused by a benign tumour on the pituitary gland. So that can cause Cushing's disease, which makes it more likely that they might experience a, um, a stroke. Kidney disease, diabetes, heart disease, um, cancer, and exposure to certain toxins, such as rat poison, can also um, predispose your dog to experience a stroke. So the key things that your vet will do is identify the cause. And if it looks like they are able to make a full recovery, then obviously identifying the cause is really important so that they can reduce the likelihood of them experiencing another one. 
Um, physiotherapy can be really important in their rehabilitation. Um, and correct treatment can resolve the cause of stroke. So if they have um, a raised blood pressure um, or um, other underlying medical condition like diabetes, treating that properly can make it less likely they will experience another stroke. So I hope that's been helpful to you. That's Emma Hammett from First Aid for Pets.